This is Salamancer, and uh, I'm going to be really busy this weekend, so I figured we may as well get some casts done today. Lots of videos for you guys so that you'll at least have something to watch while I am doing my last weekend of classes for the semester. It's going to be so good to have that semester out of the way. But let's talk about the teams here. PsyOps TF2 with uh, Blueberry Villain. Silk actually looks like he's on the team. Is that the same Silk that I'm thinking of? Maybe. Mike and Final Justice, there's Scouts. Charisse and Trisk. Uh, Charisse, of course, the medic, and Trisk bringing up the uh, soldier roster. Trisk actually was on 10 points to Gryffindor last season, if I recall, so he's a pretty gosh darn good soldier. Um, meanwhile, TA Esports, with two engineers out there right now, has Bopper, Mustard Overlord, Blarf, Omniscient, Ouija, and Kirby. And we've seen quite a few of those names before as well. In fact, I've casted both of these guys before. Uh, where are the sentries right now? Interesting location, actually. These guys are trying out a, a different style of defense where they're going to keep their medic on the high ground. They do need to watch, you know, have their have their soldiers sitting here watching the, uh, the entryway from A to C, and then from C to B. But uh, otherwise, it's not a bad idea, and we do have Mike here, who is the same Mike as M-A-I-K, just uh, spelled it differently on the ESEA website now. <clears throat> but Mike is going to start looking to see uh, what they can find around here. Nobody has died yet. There's just a bit of spam going on. Here's that sentry, which uh, has blown the demo here just slightly off course. Silk eating a lot of damage here. He's at about 30 health right now, and there are actually two sentries. He did manage to take one down, so he's going to be happy about that. Um, the other sentry seems to have disappeared or been picked up somewhere. Yeah, Blarf just going to set it right back down here. Unless he gets taken out, got to be really careful. Did manage to drop it again, so that sentry will get built right back up to level 3 very quickly. But a uh, soldier in here on top of the medic and uh, did deal a lot of damage to Omniscient. Cherise, who is also known as Miss Awesome, uh, kept 100% Uber, and now Mike is on the heavy. So uh, another one of these really common things where once you've gotten the enemy to force an Uber, or even sometimes if you haven't, you just bring the heavy out instead of a scout. Um, seems to be getting more and more commonplace in every game that I cast. But PsyOps, I don't know, I like it. They have an uber advantage, but they're not taking advantage of it. Actually, uh, Omniscient is almost back up to 100% again, so they probably should have pushed a little bit quicker here. Now the sentry is even going up as well at level 2. There's a double NG setup right here, and uh, here comes the uber right now. But yeah, you heard that full charge notification. That means, of course, uh, both teams had the ubers. Just about even timing there. Trisk dropping back, keeping the medic alive, while meanwhile TA Esports is trying to contest the uh, control of the high ground. Blueberry Villain up there, though, getting a good kill on Ouija from TA Esports. And now going for some shots on the medic, or maybe the engineer. Uh, can't decide just yet. It looks like he has decided on the engineer. Mustard Overlord is down to, uh, to Final Justice, who is the other scout for PsyOps. Uh, I say other scout because I already talked about Mike. <clears throat> and uh, Mike was one of the first guys that actually got me into shoutcasting, believe it or not. Uh, the first couple of games that I shoutcasted in Team Fortress 2 were, aside from the community games that I did, were of uh, that team. Originally called Water Vapor, they changed names several times due to uh, various sponsorships, so they were Fragnetic. They are now PsyOps Gaming. But uh, a couple of the same people on it, so good friends of mine and special place in my heart. Love you guys. PsyOps, though, looking like they are... Uh, Getting ready to charge into point C. 2 minutes and 36 seconds on capping point B is not bad at all. The Ubers are popped for both teams once again, dragging the soldiers through there right now. And the soldier was trying to jump up, but he's got to be careful about a pyro and a heavy, both standing up there. Not dealing a lot of damage right now, but they will deny a lot of jumping. And there you go. Uh, Trisk taken down very quickly by Kirby. Um, Mike did finish off Ouija there, but it's only two players left. It is the two scouts, Final Justice and Mike. And they did manage to kill, I think, the heavy. Um, but there go both the scouts. So, uh, <laughs> scouts, says Kirby. Looking like TA Esports held onto it, and they're going to have a bit of an uber advantage. Bopper is looking to set up a dispenser, maybe? I don't know what he's doing right now. He's just standing up here. Well, actually, since there's only three people, he has to stand up here just to stop the cap. He probably doesn't have enough metal to really build anything right now, but he had to stand up there just to prevent somebody from jumping on and immediately capping it. Now three health left. Oh, it's going to be so terrible for him if he dies here, but he's got to stop that cap right now. And there you go. He is taken out by Mike. PsyOps looking like they've got this cap very, very easily. Blueberry Villain is standing down here, but the rest of his team went up there. Uh, the respawn times for TA Esports just put them in a bad position. So PsyOps take advantage of that. Very nice, very nice. Three minutes and 42 seconds. What is Psyops doing on defense? They actually have two scouts. They are not off-classing at all. 
That is a risky decision because if you don't have that sentry sitting there to protect your medic, I mean, things can go south real fast. But on the other hand, when you have two scouts, you've got some really, really amazing mobility. Let's see, we've got Final Justice over on uh, point A. Point Mission begins in Yeah, point A is also being held up here by Silk, who is setting up some interesting little sticky traps here. Never seen those before. They are not as common. And so a scout running up this way might actually eat some stickies and get killed, as long as Silk is actually watching them. And let's see if that actually happens here. We're going to see who decides to walk through this door. TA Esports, I don't even know where they're going to go right now. Oh, Chad telling me this Black Dynamite. Duh. Okay, that, that Silk guy, that is Black Dynamite. I knew that. And apparently those are his normal trap spots. So uh, Chad knows the player better than I do. Thank you very much for that in the stream chat. He's been helping me out. Um, so apparently those are his normal stream spots, uh, trap spots. But these scouts may not know it. Oh, he, he did manage to take out Bopper. Blarf completely avoided all the traps, but uh, Bopper ended up eating those really bad there. So, uh, nice. I, I like the trap locations. If you were looking for something just a little bit different than your normal inside the point sticky traps there, uh, you can try using what Black Dynamite uses. Now, Mike is standing up on top of this house along with his soldier, and he's going to try and stop... Yep, stops Mustard Overlord from getting in there to kill the medic. Uh, Mustard may have been expecting a sentry there. Oh, direct hit! Kirby taking down Mike on top here, and now trying to hit these soldiers as well, but he is finished off by a Blueberry Villain. So TA Esports will get the cap on A, but they did not pop the Uber out of Charisse. So about you know, less than three minutes, 2.50 left now for PsyOps TF2. And uh, so far, they're looking good. PsyOps, their record, I believe, is 4-1. and one. I want to say 4-1 and one going into this game. Um, and so they, they've got a decent record here so far, just looking like towards the top of open. Uh, Kirby is now jumping up to join the rest of the team, and Blarf, look at that, on the heavy. So I, this is just so common now. It seems like they're everybody's pushing with a heavy, but the thing is, they're doing a split push here with the heavy and scout over on the long entrance into the point with uh, the uber actually going to be coming in from the high ground. So that heavy, I, he's going to be able to cover a lot of ground, I think, just because there's going to be this distraction of the uber here. We'll see, though. Uh, no, he's not even able to get out of there yet before taking some spam damage. Got to watch out, though. Mike, Silk, and Trisk all taken down, but then three immediately dead in in, uh, in exchange there for TA Esports. Oh, uh, this is looking bad for PsyOps, though. With still two minutes left to go, TA Esports is going to start capping this point. Where is the heavy right now? He probably... Oh, Blueberry Villain is still here. <coughs> and excuse me, allergies today, so I had to take a pill. And I might possibly be losing my voice. But Blueberry is standing on top right now. Oh, Blarf kind of called that one, so uh, there you go. TA Esports are uh, on their way to capping this point. Good work by the scouts here so far, and actually Silk is trying to get a kill on the medic. There he goes. Trisk finishes off both Mustard and Omniscient. Uh, now the point is probably going to get capped. Bopper is not being stopped here, or is that Kirby? Either way, no, it was Bopper. Very, very close to the cap, but no, Kirby can't even uh, jump back down in here. He's at 14 health and gets finished off. Psyops TF2 have held on to B, and with only a minute left to go, that is really bad for TA Esports. They may end up losing this round. There is a pause. Oh, there we go. That was a nice little pause there. Uh, about a minute left to go, though, and PsyOps TF2 are holding on to point B still. The uh, capture time is reverting pretty darn quickly now. TA Esports need to get some time on the point, and so far, having difficulty doing so. They also need to get all the frags. Like, really, they need to get the kills before they get that time. And Blarf taken down, but they've gotten three kills so far, so they could still get this. It's only 30 seconds left, and they need to cap now. Uh, Mustard Overlord taken down, Bopper trying to get that cap. There you go, finally showing the correct capture rate there for me. It's just Bopper and Ouija left alive. Ouija had an overheal, but is now being taken down by Charisse, actually. Oh, going for the Ubersaw. It's Ubersaw versus Equalizer, and Ubersaw wins. Charisse with the Ubersaw kill to win uh, the round. Basically, just going to stand here and try to... Well, can't even block the capture at the moment, but using the Uber on Final Justice... And that is going to be good round there. Um, I don't even think that was saving the round. I think the round was probably over by then anyway. But it was a nice Uber saw kill nonetheless. Uh, frag video worthy, I would say so. So, on our way to the next round. So, of course, this time around, they do change sides here. Matches live. And PsyOps will be defending first. It is up to TA Esports to set a capture time. And hey, I don't mind me some short capture times. Because it does make for some shorter videos. Easier on my voice. Easier for you to digest. So, uh... We'll see whether TA Esports can get a quick cap. 
and bring this to a tie. Um, if they can't get quick cap, they still could bring it to a tie, but that makes it a lot harder. Uh, right now, the engineers are just kind of screwing around with teleporters in spawn. Uh, these guys are not really very concerned about sticky traps being directly at the door. Where is... Oh, Mike doing some crazy flying right now with that Boston Basher. Um, so both teams just kind of using the setup time to screw around and not really caring. Uh, where is... S not Silk, but Black Dynamite. Looks like he's probably set up the exact same traps, maybe? No, oh, he has changed it up, so that's a that's, uh, good demo man play there. But where are they? Trying to find them. There are some uh, common spots, and there are some not-so-common spots. And I'm willing to bet they are on some not-so-common spots. Um, oh, no, they are inside the point this time around. So uh, scouts, as soon as they get on there, may have to deal with that. Let's see if they do. Blarf looking for those traps this time around, uh, and they may expect them in the point. Oh! There, they, they were detonated and did deal some damage to Bopper, but looks like he is okay. Grabs a health kit and will be fine. Mustard Overlord, or should I say Mustard Overlord, is jumping in and trying to get some damage down, but actually uh, he's finished off very quickly here. So that's three down already for TA Esports. Not a big deal. They are capping A. They were just trying to get in and force to pop out of Cherise. But Psyops holds on to the Uber once again. So uh, good job by them. They will be able to hold point B. Um for a little while longer. And just a, some good spam coming through right now. I'm getting emails and stuff. Emails are cool. Wow, sorry about that. I thought I had taken enough pills to get rid of the allergies today, but it looks like they are pretty darn strong. Those allergy monsters are mean and nasty. Uh, Trisk is standing on top of the point right now, which is kind of what you want to see. You need at least one soldier up there just to make sure that when the enemies jump in, uh, it's not a freebie. And there you go, Trisk takes out Kirby, who was looking very hurt there, possibly took a rocket or a pill or a sticky a little bit too early. The Ubers are popped for both teams, and once again, there is no sentry up here for PsyOps. They have decided to go for just a deathmatch defense only. Blueberry looking for a good kill here on Mustard Overlord and does manage to get it, and now should be able to uh, anticipate, there you go, the medic's movements as well. Omniscient, not looking so omniscient right now. Um, not able to see where that rocket was going to land, ended up dying to it. Kirby and Bopper, the only two left alive right now, and Psyops hold on to the point just fine with an uber advantage. So they are very, very confident, and looks like they have every right to be. Psyops, uh, look good. I, I just gotta say, they look good. It's uh, quite a different team. I mean, the, the old lineup was quite a few different players, and a lot of them left. So, you know, gotta, gotta get those new players on the list. But... They're doing, I think this season, their record is a lot better than it was last season. And, oh look, we have another pause. There we go. Pause is over. Um, this is going to be really confusing for me, by the way, guys. There's going to be like 15 little video clips that Fraps has made because I keep having to cut stuff out. And, uh, I don't know, I just get, I get super confused. It happens a lot. But Kirby did have to rejoin his team. He is back now, so they do have their soldier ready to go. But Psyops holding on to the point quite nicely. Uh, let me just make sure this everything's reloaded properly. Yes, it is. Okay. Ouija taken out there. Um, actually, I think he killed himself. Now Kirby has been finished off by Mike. They were probably both trying to jump in and get some kills again. Maybe forced a pop out of Cherise, but it's not going to happen. Mustard Overlord finished off there now. And so TA Esports uh, not going to set a very quick capture time here. Psyops TF2 is looking like they're sitting pretty. I was going to say looking pretty, and they probably are looking pretty as well, although, uh, yeah, I, the hats, let me see, we got to find some hats. That's not a bad hat. That is, that's a, I, that's just a pretty hat. And in fact, I think, uh, was it Cherise that had, like, a double effect thing going on? Maybe not anymore, but I saw somebody with a uh, blighted beak and a hat, both that had an unusual effect, which is pretty crazy. Um, this, I can't say I agree with painting this green. So, uh, they're sitting pretty right now. Not all of them are looking pretty. The Uber is popped for both teams. TA Esports going to lose their Uber just a little bit earlier, but Blueberry Villain decides he doesn't want to get in there and uh, contest just yet. There were way too many stickies there for him, and he is probably going to get taken out there. Uh, so, finally, Psyops losing a player before TA Esports do. But, in quick succession, a scout and a soldier go down for our blue team. Uh, Black Dynamite was going for an air shot, air pipe there on the soldier. He missed it. But now it's just Medic Scout and Demo Man left for TA Esports. Mustard Overlord taking a lot of damage. And uh, he gets finished off there by Trisk. And now um, Black Dynamite, I keep saying Silk, but Black Dynamite doing some uh, some good area denial work for Omniscient. He didn't get the kill there. Didn't even get an assist on Omniscient. But 
what you did see was he was laying down stickies left and right just to stop him from getting away. So it doesn't really matter that he doesn't get the kill. What matters is the medic died. And Charisse is going to have Uber advantage once again. Point B is still held by PsyOps TF2. So this is uh, looking like a very nice capture time so far. If B even gets capped, which at this point I'm not sure if TA Esports even has it in them right now. They are a good team, and I've seen them play a couple great games so far, um, but PsyOps is just dominating right now with, uh, I mean, with people like Blueberry Villain and, um, what am I saying here, and Black Dynamite, especially. Black Dynamite, a crazy good demo, man. Uh, it's just a lot of great players on PsyOps, not to take away from TA Esports, but they are having some DM difficulties right now. I mean, they're not even able to... There's, there's no sentry here to protect the medic. They just... They don't have a sentry to push into. And they're uh, they're still not having an easy time. Here goes a crits creek though! Oh, so close to hitting the medic there. That uber, I don't even think, was quite ready. But now... Now... There is a regular uber down, which is going to counter this crits pretty well. Trisk is down, but there goes Omniscient. So, once again, no medic for TA Esports. Uh, Black Dynamite standing inside the point right now. He's got to be careful here. May want to jump out. Um, and help protect the medic, which he does, taking down Kirby very easily there. Uh, Kirby was trying to go for Charisse and just couldn't manage to do it. It looks like he's even confused about that. Um, so nobody going to cap B just yet. Blarf and Bopper were trying to get some uh, time down on the point, but, I mean, they're so hurt right now. They just need to get back into spawn, stay alive, help their medic build that uber up, and maybe try to push out again. They are going to push out with no uber this time, and they're trying to get out here before Charisse builds the uber up as well so that they can... Uh, keep the pressure on. That's probably the best idea for them right now. There goes Black Dynamite. That's a really good pick, taking out that uh, very good demo man. It's going to help him make this push. Uh, and now they've taken out Mike as well. Mustard Overlord going for some kills. Oh, Charisse is so hurt right now. Get those sticky bombs out there, man. Start reloading. Yep, Charisse is taking down Trisk as well. Mustard Overlord, Ouija, Bopper, all getting some good kills right now. That was actually a roller kill on Charisse. So finally, TA Esports should be able to cap B. They need to... Oh, they need to stop Black Dynamite here. And they should be able to do just that. Black Dynamite backing away through the hallway now. But they need to get somebody up on the high ground. There you go. Mustard is now planting his own sticky traps above this doorway. So there shouldn't... Oh my gosh, my mouse. Um, there shouldn't be any problem with uh, PsyOps trying to push back in and, and contesting C. Instead, PsyOps uh, have made the smart decision, which is fall back to point C. We've already wasted enough time there on B. Seven minutes so far, and still looking golden here on defense. PsyOps, uh, they are not running a sentry, but they are finally running one off class here, which is this pyro. Mike on the pyro right now, uh, who is basically just there to blast people back off. Use that compression blast to keep people off of the spire. That's all That's all he needs to do. And now, uh-oh, uh crits coming in once again. Could actually use the crits creek to try and reflect some of those crit stickies as well, but uh, but do bear in mind that even if you... Oh, here comes an uber, so we'll talk about that in a minute, actually. This uber going to do a, a lot of great damage. It's chasing down the medic really hard, though. Could have gotten a kill on a soldier, and instead, Blueberry Villain is taken down. So uh, there is going to be a bit of an uber advantage for TA Esports. They're going to have a crits. They can actually push in right now. It's just Mike left on the point. He's going to... Oh, he tries to do... Uh, to stop this from coming in. It doesn't have the extinguisher, actually. Just using the regular fire axe. That's, uh... I'm not sure what to think of that decision. He did just try to cut down Kirby. Um, Final Justice then finished him off. But now Mike has to go right back upstairs using this degreaser still, which, I mean, that's just, uh... I don't know. You're not usually going to see extinguisher kills in competitive anyway. So... I have no idea. Somebody... Chad apparently is going to let Black Dynamite know I said something, but I don't even remember what it is anymore. Um, PsyOps did a great job so far, though, of holding out, but now TA has 100% crits. They need to push in with this immediately before the Uber's ready to go for Charisse. They're going to do just that. Uh, they got to watch for that sticky trap, though. Oh, Black Dynamite! He is taken down. Um, Mustard, only that may be the only kill they get. He's going for the kill on the medic now as well. Charisse is not taking a lot of damage yet. Blueberry Villain, though, at 2 health, needs to find a way to get healed, or he is going to die, and there he goes. Uh, Charisse, wow, everybody from PsyOps is really hurt right now. Uh, TA Esports should be able to finally get this capture, but there goes the Uber, so maybe not. Good reflect there by our Pyro Mike. Um, and one of those mid-air reflects that is just so crazy to get here on point C, and you actually see it quite a lot. It sounds like there was an attempt at an Uber saw there, but uh, with less than 25% H or, or Uber, it must not have connected, even though it kind of sounded like it did there. 
<coughs> anyway, what was I talking about? I don't remember. There was something I, I really wanted to mention when they were uh, pushing through that door to A, and I just don't remember it all. Oh well, maybe somebody will remind me in the stream chat. That would be really awesome. Uh, Psyops, though, hanging out here on top of the point C once again with that pyro. Oh, okay, okay. Chad just saying he's going to let whatever. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. It's not a big deal. It is just the stream chat. Although, if you do want to see these being streamed live, you need to tune in to twitch.tv slash fatmop. That's where I do all the live streams. Of course, uh, pretty much mostly what I do there is just the casting. Occasionally, you will get to see me play like a TF2 lobby or a pug or something like that. Um, it's always fun. But still, Mike just standing up here holding down the fort. And with only a minute 50 left on the clock, TA Esports is running out of time. They've lost their medic. Uh, everybody is hurt right now. So once again, crazy kills. Trisk getting not one, not two, but three kills there. And PsyOps holding on to their point so well right now. It's just some crazy stuff. And uh, so the way I just said so well right now, actually, that that's so well right now. And then I paused. That that was legitimately like me expecting another caster to come in for me because I was like, oh, I need to clear my throat. And then I realized nobody else was casting with me. I'm going insane. But Saps will be able to hold on to this point right now. Um, something about stickies. Nope, not helping. Uh, yeah, was it Yuzinchi or something like that? I can't exactly pronounce that. Um, Keiru wants me to put the ferrets on and do a tri-cast. I mean, it's basically that's what we're up to right now because TA Esports only have one more opportunity to push um, before... They just don't cap C at all. And that will make it really easy for Psyops. Oh, look out for those stickies. Those uh, could have detonated and hurt a lot more than they did. Kirby needs to try and jump up here, but having some difficulty with it right now. They do uber the heavy, and that's going to keep them alive for quite a while, but not probably long enough here, as three players are already down for TA Esports. Heavy trying to get some kills here, but gets bad hit down by Final Justice. Not happy about that. And Psyops finishing off, let's see, that was Blueberry Villain helping to finish off the cast or the kill with Final Justice on Omniscient. So 20 seconds left to go. TA may try to make one last desperation push here, but uh, the likelihood of that working is very, very slim. And so Psyops may come out with, uh, with a very easy round next round. A seven minute capture time just on point B. So uh, yeah, there you go. Trisk is going to stand up here and just help defend the point, as is uh, Black Dynamite. And nobody capped C. So... Of course, with stopwatch mode, normally you kind of expect everybody to capture all the points. But if it doesn't happen, then uh, then the path to victory is made even easier for their opponents. Because PsyOps can either capture A and B in under 7 minutes, or if that timer expires, then they just have to wait at the regular round timer to capture C. So they've got a nice long time to work with. Um, Psyops looking good so far. They really are. TA Esports uh, do have their double engineer play once again, and have they put those sentries in the same weird locations? No, they have kind of mixed it up, although I guess they haven't even brought them out yet. They're probably just building them up at spawn. We'll walk them through in a little while, and there you go. There's one of them coming right now, Mr. Bopper, walking down the stairs here, and he will set it up. Yeah, I think he is going to set it up actually in the same spot on this ramp here, which will cover the long entrance quite nicely. And the other one is going to get set up over here, which is going to stop any sort of jumping on top of the house. So, I, I don't know. It's an alright sentry location, but you got to be careful with two, sen uh, two sentries. Two engineers means that you are probably lacking a sniper. You're lacking a scout. You're lacking a heavy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that other engineer slot. And uh, the sentry's nice, but if it gets taken out very quickly, then uh, it's not going to be fun. Anyway, PsyOps is quickly capping point A, and they have already brought their medic out. Cherise running straight through to point C right now, not wasting any time here. There we go. Had to clear the throat a little bit. Psyops, though, with a couple of scouts running out here. It's just one scout actually uh, capping the point right now. They're going to pop that Uber way early here, and they force the pop out of their enemies as well. But getting body blocked, they cannot take out the sentries. So good defense by TA Esports so far. There goes one sentry, though, from Trisk, actually, and he's getting the heals back on him now. That was the sentry on the, the close-by ramp, I think. Oh, Mustard Overlord is finished off. Point A is captured, and already some kills here for our PsyOps team. Uh, Demo Man is down for TA Esports. Mike is finished off there, but Omniscient uh, kills... Tri oh, no, that doesn't kill Trisk. Is killed by Trisk. 
I need to stop using the passive voice so much here, because seriously, Trisk is getting some crazy kills right now. He is dead, but Psyops have a big uber advantage, and, and uh, Black Dynamite is now trying to stop this sentry from getting set up here. They probably need to take out that teleporter, but they are having tr trouble doing it right now. And we'll back off until they've got the uber ready to go. Was that a spy? That was not, not a spy. No, it just kind of sounded like a spy, the, the sigh of the decloak. But TA Esports going to sit here with their double teleporter, double dispenser, standing back behind that point. The sentry is now in the Enigma shadow there. And Mike is way out of position, so this attack isn't probably going to come in anytime soon. Uh, actually, it is coming in through the AB connector now, which I don't think TA Esports realizes that they are there. So here comes the Uber with only 50% ready to go for Omniscient. That's going to mean no Uber to save these sentries. Um, Engineer did bring it up, but oh, look at all the destruction and death raining down right now. TA Esports only has three people left alive. Um, Kirby saying perfect timing. They were trying to build up and lift up and whatever else and just could not get away with uh, with doing it. Blueberry Villain is now going to try and jump on top probably of the Medic or the Demo. Catches that Demo up in midair, but then is killed himself. And PsyOps still has a Medic Demo combo out here, but now TA Esports has popped their Uber inside the point. And, uh, that is so gross, Demo Man. It's just so gross. TA Esports, so happy with their positioning right now. And there you go. That is uh, Omniscient getting a kill on Charisse with the Ubersaw, but it doesn't matter because uh, Omniscient was taken out by Trisk. Trisk is still alive and chasing down with the Equalizer. Going to try to get a kill on this Demo. Oh, there you go. Blueberry Villain and Trisk finishing off Mustard Overlord. So B is getting capped right now. Trisk has to be really careful here, but he can bluff with his health quite a bit and can actually grab that little kit there, bringing him up to 75, so he's less less in danger of immediate death. Uh, it's just Ouija and Omniscient left, and they have to stop this capture. Uh, oh, good kill on Trisk, so uh, Ouija could potentially do some good stopping. Let me try and get him on the camera. No, he's been taken down too late, and that's going to be the cap on B, uh, which will end the game. Good caps there. Psyops TF2 winning 2-0. to zero. A very, very strong showing by them. 5-1 and one now in their division, which is ESEA Open. Thank you for watching. Twitch.tv slash fatmop. YouTube.com slash fatmop. Do check them out.